starts off as a square and then reduces by one and then reduces by one. The y starts off this time from zero and increments up by one each time. But the important point is this, is that the sum of both of those values here, okay, the sum of both of those values here is always the same as this value here in the binomial coefficient. Okay? And then we could, we could work that out and see what each one of those uh, actually represents. Let's have a look at another example. Okay? Uh, let's say we were looking at something like, uh, so actually, well, the, don't forget the expansion is the sum of these things here. So it's actually the sum of these things. So it's NC, it's two C, it's it's two C zero. Okay, so it's it's equal to times X squared times Y to the zero. Well, Y to the zero is just one, so that's just gives us X squared plus two C one times X okay, times Y plus two C two times X to the zero, which is just one times Y squared. Now. Uh, these particular these particular coefficients, let's say n c k, is the same as n factorial all over all over k factorial times n minus k factorial. Okay? Uh, but there's an easy way to actually calculate what they are. Okay? But in this formula here, so that means that n c that two c zero is two factorial all over zero factorial times two minus zero factorial. The zero factorial by definition is just one. So this is the same as two factorial all over one times two minus zero is two all over two factorial, which gives us one. Brilliant. What about two C one? Well, two C one okay, is two factorial all over one factorial times two minus one factorial, which is the same as two times one all over one factorial is just one. 2 minus 1 gives me 1, and 1 factorial is 1, so that's 1 times 1. And effectively, what we end up with is 2 here. And similarly, here, when we look at uh, 2c2, 2c2 is 2 factorial all over 2 factorial, because the k is 2 in this case, times 2 minus 2 factorial, which is the same as 2 factorial over 2 factorial, because 2 minus 2 is 0, and 0 factorial, by definition, is equal to 1. So this actually just gives us... This gives us a value of one. But the point I'm trying to make here is this, is that each one of these binomial coefficients, 2c0 is one, so this becomes one times x squared gives me x squared, plus 2c1 is two, so this becomes 2xy, plus 2c2, well, 2c2 is a value of one, so this becomes y squared. And voila, look, that's actually the same as a lot of work it seems like here to do this, which which actually is okay. But this is actually the same as what we ended up over here by actually doing the expansion. <clears throat> uh, the important point about these particular coefficients here is this: is that these coefficients are terms in the Pascal uh, in Pascal's triangle. Okay, and let's just have a look at Pascal's triangle as an example. Okay? So Pascal's triangle. So let's just have a look at Pascal's triangle and I'll just show you what we really have. Okay, Pascal's triangle. Yeah, so we have each row. Okay, so let's say it starts off with one, followed by one and one. Okay. Uh, followed by the, the next row is this is start all the all the rows start with a one, okay, uh, and end with a one. Uh, and then the next term, okay, is the sum of the previous two terms. Okay, so it's one plus one gives me two. Okay. Uh, and then finally, we have a one. So there's the first row has one entry, the second row has two entries, okay? the third row has three entries with the two ones on the outside, and then the value in the middle is the sum of the previous two. The fourth row starts with a one, followed by the sum of these two entries, which gives us a three, followed by the sum of these two entries, which gives us a three, followed by the final term, which is a one. The fourth row starts with a one, followed by the sum of these two entries, which is a four, followed, followed by the sum of these two entries, which is a six, followed by the sum of these two entries, which is a four, and it ends with a one. But what I really want to show you is this, is that, don't forget that each one of these, each one of these are on a particular row, okay? This is row, let's say row zero, this is row one, this is row two, this is row three, and this is row four, okay? Uh, so when we actually have a look at the terms, yeah. Okay. So 
when we have a look at the terms, now don't forget, we're, we're, we're always going to start counting as zero, okay? So this term here represents, and I'll get back to this now in a moment, it's, it's, it's zero C zero, okay? This term here represents, it's on row one, so this is uh, one C zero, because this is the first entry, okay, on row one, first entry being the zero entry. Uh, this entry here from a binomial uh, from a bino 